okay because I screwed up some things originally before. I skipped through a lot of the original cutscenes because I wanted to get things done on time. But here I'm just going to let them go and just show you it uh, later. Just add this on to what I've recorded. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation of the affair. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. That was really well behaved, much better than last time. So that one sequence that just plain didn't play with a mushroom cloud and the helicopter flying away. I'm not sure if anything was supposed to play there. I'm a bit rusty on how that intro sequence is actually supposed to go when these cutscenes function properly. But that's just what I got. What have we got here? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Stay on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Still in one piece. <gasps> that maniac's gonna ram us! Run! Claire! Leon! I'm okay. Head to the station. <laughs> 
I'll meet you there. Okay. You can look up cutscenes if you want, but... I sucked at this scene a lot, but the trick is to hug the upper edge. Here, you wanna lure this guy over here. Past him. Past him. There. Got past all the clowns. Now for a cutscene I can't skip, which may screw up an audio, so forgive me. Please. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! Sorry about that. It's behaving pretty well right now. I thought you were one of them. A little fast at points. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Good thing you own a gun store. Then again, if the entire city gets infested with zombies, the gun store owner is probably the last guy that's going to get turned. You would think, anyway. I could avoid the handgun bullets. Okay, now you go die. I could avoid picking up the handgun bullets and try to go for the, uh, Brad Vigor sequence, but I'm not going to bother, because... It's stupid, it's for clothes. Cosmetics are not a big interest of mine, even in video games. Plus, there's so many bullets here that make the game so much easier if you pick them up now. I tried to play through this before using crabs. I got grabbed a lot in this area. Fourteen bullets down three zombies. I do not believe. I do not believe. Stand up. I knew it. Much more illegal. Ah, you piece of crap. I think there's a button you can press to make them grab you last, but I'm not sure. Hey, over here. What's that? Something in the rim? This too shall pass. Huh. Now this sequence... I figured out the trick to this little area to make sure that you don't get grabbed. And I'll share that with everybody who's interested because this is a really good game to play unless you suck at it. You go up to the top of the can then you climb off from the top end, and then you just hug the wall, make a beeline for the wall, swerving around, and make sure you don't get touched. And this area is just simply, do not fight them. They will screw you up. Do something a little different here. Look at this lady first. Then get the bullets. Make that clown until he falls down. And leave. Save state. Because this is the part where you usually get grabbed. You and I get grabbed a lot here. Run behind the zombie cop and... Ha ha! I think you hug the top wall again there too. But you have to swerve around that one zombie to get there. And that's how to get to the RPD without getting totally mugged by zombies. If 
we didn't grab the bullets, Brad Vickers would be in that hallway after getting zombified by being beaten up by the nemesis from Resident Evil 3, but then we wouldn't have all these nice, nice bullets to play with. And bullets are nice, especially if you're playing Leon, then they're actually useful, not when you're playing Claire so much, because you get enough grenades to do everything without. Also, something interesting about this Let's Play, apparently Resident Evil 2 is a lot nicer than Doom when doing Let's Plays. Oh yeah. Getting a little ahead of myself. It's a... I'll get this cutscene first, then explain what's going on. Please, cutscene. Function. <laughs> oh, man. Who... Who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled. No. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind every was being. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh, hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here. Take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But just go. Fine. But go coming back for you. Just hold on. That was actually pretty well behaved. I actually shoved my microphone for that sequence, because I don't really need that many comments. Anyway. Whoops. I went the totally wrong way. I saved a little time on the front sequence, and then I screw up a lot here. Figures. Grab the bullets. No, so not reloading, that's for a reason. Because you can get the uh, handgun upgrade really fast in Leanna. Also, anyway, like I was talking about earlier, it's a little different from my Doom 3 Let's Play, because in my Doom 3 Let's Play, I had to stop, like, every six minutes, because the audio would unsynchronize, and the game audio would go faster, or uh, my speaking audio would go slower, and it would mess things up if it went on to a second frap track. The second frap track triggers in Resident Evil 2 around four minutes, but it doesn't do that audio lag thing. And I saw the liquor. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. It'll butcher it up a lot, but I'll reassemble it so I can YouTube it. Uh, come on, look at him. The head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. Ah, twist off, I love those. And in his neck, handgun bullets. Because his last action in life was to swallow handgun bullets so that you could pick them up. He remembered your party. <gasps> I love how excited Leon is about seeing his first liquor. It's like, oh boy, he has a huge brain! Oh, Ugh. screw you, liquor. You didn't go for the jump lunge. I went for the jump lunge last time. I guess he's making up for the rest of the game being easier compared to... Last walk through. Oh, and Grove Hallway. Yes, I'm being really methodical here. Let's go. More bullets. They remember my party after all. 114 bullets at this sequence. Last time I had 115. Come on. I'm not doing as well for bullets, but I'm doing better on health. And then you burn the picture.
take the red jewel. No, I'm going to leave that priceless red jewel the size of my fist right there. And we're going to leave it out here. I pretty much memorized this early portion of the game. Then again, Leon A is kind of bland. There's not a lot of fun stuff that happens in Leon A. And it's really straightforward and simple. It's like the first sequence is one of the hardest sequences in Leon A. Trick here. Run behind the lady zombie as he turns around. Then open up. Once you get in this corner, and you can see them all coming. Pro tip. Oh, little. Get away. Got a little screwed up on that relay. Anybody still alive? Nobody's still alive, yay. Now... The trick here is pick up one green earth. I guess you could pick up both, but... Sometimes you're carrying a lot here. Okay, there's also invisible bullets in here. Invisible bullets goes well with invisible guns. Recommended by Pegasus minions everywhere. Let's drop that and herb. 108 bullets. That's not bad after that hallway. There's another place to get bullets nearby. And as we left it. I like to pick up as many green herbs as I can, especially in Leon A, because Leon A you will use them all. And Claire A, I think. I've, d I've done Claire A like once. Principally, it's similar to Leon, but there's some other quirks about it. And this little statue pushing puzzle. Push! 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 Pro tip, both find the statue. This brings me up to like 122 now. And then this other statue here. Push it out there. Takes about three shoves to get it there. And nine shoves to get it down here. Nine full shoves to get it down there. And there we go! Kick him in his jewels, and then get out of here. doing so well in the station here. Oh, I can't tell if he's bleeding now, but whatever. Let's go in here. <laughs> 